I think there's two things going on here. First, there's some general concern about Apple uh, and demand out there for the iPhone. And secondly, you've got a valuation takedown of the FANG names that's been continuing uh, today. We've been seeing going on for a couple of months now. So there you see Facebook and Apple down 4%, Netflix, uh, Alphabet also weak. Uh, there was some concerns about an Apple supplier mentioned potentially lower uh, 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 shipments. Uh, uh, one of the companies that's out there, Lumentum, they do uh, optical uh, components for the iPhone. So uh, we see some of the uh, semiconductors all down, Advanced Micro, NVIDIA, Micron, Qualcomm. But if you put up Apple suppliers, uh, that group is down, led by uh, Lumentum, Corvo, Cirrus Logic, uh, JBL. Uh, all on the downside right now. So the Apple suppliers uh, are weak as well. Uh, semiconductors you saw also on the weak side. Dow movers, uh, I think it's interesting that it's not just tech. If you look at J.P. Morgan and you look at Goldman Sachs, they're notably weak today. Uh, there may be some uh, Lloyd Blankfein headlines there, but the market is acting, the big bank names are kind of acting like the first quarter of 2019 aren't going to be that great for capital markets. So kind of hard to lead the, read the tea leaves on what's going on with Goldman, J.P. Morgan, Boeing also on the weak side. Of course, the upside always tends to be the consumer staples names in these kinds of situations. So you've got Johnson, Johnson, Coke, Procter & Gamble, all positive. Finally, just keep an eye on the Russell 2000. It's been an ugly month, generally drifting lower. We're about to cross the 50 and 200-day moving average. I have 16.20 for the 50-day, 16.15 for the 200 day when you get that 50 day crossing the 200 day that's called a death cross it's a negative technical indicator a lot of people talking about that right now